back to gyms. My name is Melissa Mitchell from here in Australia, Abundant Life Studio. Today we're going to be uh, reacting to Pro Prophet Muhammad uh, is mentioned in Bible, mind blowing. Uh, this was uploaded eight months ago with 864,000 views, which is a lot. And the channel is Rational Believer with uh, 346,000 subscribers. So it's a good channel. Um, not sure what to expect because I actually don't know a lot about the Bible either. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what they say. So we'll get started. Uh, before we do, make sure you hit that subscription button. If you like this reaction, give us the thumbs up. And of course, leave us a comment below. And um, yeah, let us know what you thought of the video. Okay, we'll get started. Prophet Muhammad is mentioned in Bible. Mind blowing. <laughs> I have read the Bible through many, many, many times. And others such as I have read it many more times, much more educated than I could ever be. Understanding both Hebrew and Greek. Uh, Mohammed is not mentioned in the Old Testament. With this countless number of reading, the man doesn't see it. How can that be? I said, you see, what has happened is this. First, that Muhammad is mentioned by name in the original scriptures. The Old Testament, according to Christian authorities, was preserved in the Hebrew language and the New Testament in Greek scriptures, Greek language. In the Old Testament, in the Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16, in the Hebrew language, it reads, Hikko mamittakim vi kullo muhammadim zehdudi vi zehrei bainat Jerusalem. Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. The word Muhammadim is Muhammad im, im, I am im. Im is a plural of respect in Hebrew. You see the first verse of the Bible, book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1. It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The word God in Hebrew there is Elohim. In Hebrew, Ella stands for God. Elohim is a plural form to say with all respect and reverence. Plural of respect. In all Eastern languages, including Arabic and Hebrew, there are two types of plurals. Plural of respect as well as numbers. In the Quran also we find the very same thing. Like the verse Allah says, Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafizun. That it is for us to send down the revelation and it is for us to protect it. Who is this us? Ask any Muslim. Who is this us? Is Allah, Jibreel and Muhammad like Father, Son and Holy Ghost? No. But is us, who is us? When we are told in the Holy Quran, Qul huwa Allahu ahad, say he is Allah the one and only. Here he's talking about us. No Arab Christian has ever asked the Muslim, I said the Arab Christian, has ever asked the Muslim, who is this us? Because he knows in his language, there are two types of plurals, plural of numbers and plural of respect. This us is like in royal proclamations, you have plural of respect. We have decreed, says the queen. We. Who is this we? Not she and her husband and her, her son. No, no, no. It's standing for herself. Out of respect. Plural. So Elohim is a plural of respect. Im. El is God. Ella is God. Elohim is more than one of respect. Ask any Jew. This is his book. Ask him, what is this im? He said, look, in my language, this is the plural of respect. God is one, but out of respect, we speak like that. Im. He says, Muhammad im. Muhammad im. Plural of respect. Online translations, okay. 
Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. Yes, the name Muhammad does show up. It does say Muhammadim, but the name Muhammad is very plainly in the text. The word is there in the Hebrew language. In the original, what they call original, it's there. But they have translated that in English as altogether lovely. So this beloved of mine is altogether lovely. When you read altogether lovely, you can't associate with the word Muhammad. You read it a thousand times, altogether lovely, altogether lovely. Or let's say in another language, the praised one, the praised one. Muhammad means the praised one. But he said the praised one, the praised one. You can't think that he's talking about Muhammad. Though Muhammad means the praised one. You have no right to translate names of people. Anybody. Your name should be retained. Mr. Black is Mr. Black. Though he's white. You have no right to translate names of people. But they have been doing that. Muhammad Im, they translated as altogether lovely. But the word Muhammad is there in the Hebrew language in the original. So we said, look, you have lost the name Jesus Christ, according to the Holy Quran says, Wa is qala Isa ibn Maryama. Says, Behold, Jesus, the son of Mary, said, Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, Inni Rasulullah ilaykum. So, most certainly, I am the messenger of God sent to you all. Musaddiqan lima bayna yadayya min al-tawrati. Confirming the revelation which came before me. Wa mubashiran bi rasuli ya'ti min ba'd ismuhu Ahmad. And giving you glad tidings of a messenger to come after me whose name shall be Ahmad which is another name for Muhammad Muhammad and Ahmad are synonymous terms for this mighty messenger of God Ahmad that is what the Quran tells us but Christian says look it's not in my book it's not here there's no Ahmad and there's no Muhammad so you are left with no alternative but to analyze what is there. You see, they have a verses in the Bible, in the Gospel of St. John, chapter 16, where it says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, Jesus says. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I go, I will send him. And when he is come, he will convict the world in respect of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin because they believe not in me and on and on. He says, if I don't go, the comforter will not come unto you. We say that comforter is Muhammad. The same chapter, he says, I have yet many things to say unto you. But you cannot bear them. Nah, you haven't got that capacity. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. Spirit of truth. Who is the spirit of truth? Ask the Christian. Is the Holy Ghost. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak from himself, but what things so shall he hear, that shall he speak. And he shall declare unto you the things that are to come. He shall glorify me. So who is the spirit of truth? They say the Holy Ghost. I said, all right. If this is the Holy Ghost, tell us now, what new things has he given you in the past 2,000 years? He said, Jesus said, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. But before we expound this aspect, let me reread to you this verse with a little emphasis on the pronouns. 
he says i have yet many things to say unto you but he cannot bear them na how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all truth for he shall not speak from himself but what things we shall he hear that shall he speak and he shall declare unto you the things that are to come he shall glorify me eight masculine pronoun i say it ill befits a ghost you agree that is a man a man a man a man eight times there is not another verse in the whole bible with eight masculine pronouns or eight feminine gender or eight neuter genders there isn't this is a unique verse for a unique personality muhammad man 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 not a ghost not a spook but we are told is a spirit is muhammad a spirit i say yes that's what your bible says you see every time the word spirit is used in your bible i'm telling the christian it doesn't stand for the holy ghost because in the book of revelation the last book of the bible it we are told that seven spirits of god went out into the world i say you believe in seven holy ghosts he says no there's only one holy ghost i said look it's a seven spirits I means should be seven holy ghosts no spirit doesn't stand for holy ghost every time then in the same john the same john in the first epistle of john he says beloved believe not every spirit but try the spirits whether they are of god for many false prophets have gone out into the world false prophet is a false spirit true prophet is a true spirit the same john is using spirit for a prophet don't believe every spirit means don't believe in every prophet same john in the gospel of saint john he says he says he that is born of spirit is spirit and he that is born of the flesh is flesh so do spirits beget do they cohabit he says no then how can you be born of spirit no in what it means there is that who is spiritually inclined is spiritual who is materialistically inclined is flesh what brought you here tonight some kind of gift that you were expecting from dad you know he's going to give you some sweet meats what some chocolates is that what brought you here if that was the case and suppose i give it out to you you are materialistically inclined material things brought you here so you are a materialist in the language of the bible you are fleshy you are of the flesh materialist if it was spiritual consideration motivation that brought you here then you are spiritual the gospel language say he that is born means the thing that motivates you that brings you up into being if it is spirit spiritually then you are a spirit and if you are fleshly you are flesh material you are flesh سبب القوي إلى المقام الأرفعي وأسمتي وعروتي فاستمسك يا نفس للمجد العظيم Okay, that was very intriguing, very interesting. As I said, I don't know a lot about the Bible. Um, so it was quite interesting to see how they sort of, you know, talked, how he spoke about the Bible, the Quran and, you know, parts of, uh, is it the Torah for the Jewish? Is it the Torah? Uh, and also understanding the language. So in Greek and Hebrew and the Arabic and, and 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 the plural uh for im which are very interesting and i can see i can see the point that uh he has made about the word muhammad being 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 there um it's very interesting about what he said about it was translated to was it altogether lovely which is yeah that's a very odd translation so i think he's right we shouldn't translate people's names like that because it's 
yeah, it's not, it's not accurate. So uh, he made a very, very good point, spoke very, very well, and it was very interesting. So thank you, Jims, for allowing me to react to this video. Uh, shocking truth, pro pro uh, Prophet Muhammad is mentioned in Bible, mind-blowing. So I've got my dog here on the bed, so I just don't want him to bark or anything. He's, he's jumping up. Uh, the channel is Rational Believer. Really interesting. I really liked it. I give it the two thumbs up. Make sure you drop us a comment below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. My name's Melissa Mitchell from here in Australia, Abundant Life Studio. Until next time, you are watching Jim's. We'll see you next time. Bye.